Well, this will be probably one of the best meteor showers of the year if you get out and see it. A couple of things about this. This one's unique because most meteor showers we get they originate from comets. This one actually originates from an asteroid passing by the Earth. And you could see up to 120 meteors in an hour of this if things set up right. Now, the good news with this, remember some of the Perseid meteor showers we've had the past couple of years, we've had a full moon kind of washes a lot of those out, but the moon's going to be below the horizon through most of the night. And even when it is up, it's going to be at a very small crescent stage, so we shouldn't see much light from that, so that's good. So how do you see this? It originates from the constellation Gemini, obviously. That's why it gets its name. It rises during the mid-evening hours in the eastern sky, but the best conditions to see this is when it's overhead. Some of the meteors can come from anywhere, really. You have to stay up late to see the best part of this. Between about 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. on Wednesday night, when Gemini is directly overhead, now go to a dark place as you can get. This is Wyoming. You shouldn't be able to go, have to go too far to get those dark sky conditions. About 20 minutes for your eyes to adjust. You should begin to see more, more stars and also more meteors as you go along. Now, if you want to take pictures of this, the best thing to do usually is a wide-angle lens if you have a standalone camera. Longer exposures are best to capture those meteors. And because of that wide angle and the longer exposure, you may want to use the tripod for that. Otherwise, your pictures could be a little bit shaky. Now, the big question is, what's the sky cover going to be like? Now, it's still a few days out, so this isn't ironclad, but things look pretty good at this point, though. This is during the evening hours, and most people have 5 o'clock to about 11 o'clock. Maximum sky cover looks pretty good across the area. Many of the areas have been having mostly clear skies. A few more clouds here down across southern portions of the area. Now, as we head toward later at night, a few more clouds may try to creep into the southern parts of the area, but no more than partly cloudy for most areas. In the northern part of the state, at this point, looks really good to view these. Maybe mainly clear skies for much of the night. So, want to go out there and see those meteors? Great time to do it. Happy stargazing.